So I know what you're all thinking. Sekiro, how can I make it harder? Yeah, well, it's possible and you can do it really early in the game. There's a location called the Demon Bell Shrine that you can reach. If you ring it, it makes the game harder. Enemies are more aggressive, they have a little bit more health, and they do a little bit more damage, but it's not like a huge jump, but it definitely is noticeable. Thankfully, you can reverse this if you ring the bell, not knowing what it'll do. You just have to go into your inventory and use the item that you get for ringing the bell, and then it'll completely remove it. And then you can go and ring the bell again if you want to make the game harder for yourself later on. Now, you find this bell in Mount Kondo, but you can actually get here way earlier from the Ashina outskirts. Let me show you how. Alright, so starting from the dilapidated shrine, let's go to a sculptor's idol. And I'll show you the specific idol you want to teleport to. It is in Ashina outskirts. It's the outskirts wall stairway. This is the one that's right before the uh, chained ogre. There's a the chained ogre, and then immediately after, there's a general. I forget what his name is, but he's also another mini boss that so you have to deal with. Okay, actually, you don't have to deal with them. You can avoid both of these guys if you want. Have yeah, we just climb up here. And remember, right in this area, this is the arena where the general is. Instead of going forward, take a right. And that's where he would be. Let's jump down. And follow this path. You know you're on the right track if you find this note. It warns of the headless. And yes, there is a headless guy over here. But you don't have to deal with him. Now how do you get down? Yeah, see that little ledge? It's a tricky jump. But it's not too bad. This game is very responsive at least. Climb up. Alright, that's a jump you can make. Jump down. And let's pass into the spooky cave. Now if you just started the game, then there's a boss here that you probably can't beat. I'm pretty sure this guy requires uh, the ghost powder or whatever it is. That makes so you can fight apparitions. And also he causes terror. If you get caught in his terror miasma, then you take damage. And like that terror, it will kill you. So, yeah, just jump down here, pass into the cave. Just completely avoid him, you don't have to deal with him. And you find this note. Just hug this wall. And this will take you to the demon bell shrine. Yeah, this skips a huge chunk of the game. Okay, it's not, I guess, you know, in comparison, it's not huge, because like, this game is gigantic, but it's a large chunk of the game that you can skip. There's one of these horrible monkey uh, spike mummies you have to deal with, but they're not too bad. And here we are. That's the demon bell. Yeah, they give you a little bit of a warning. Who cares about that? Let's ring the bell. Sweet. Now yeah, the sinister burden. Yeah, then you get the bell demon item. Like I said previously, if you don't want this game to be hard, just go into your inventory and use this item. That'll get rid of it. It'll get rid of the curse. The game won't be hard anymore. And you can just come back and ring it again at your pleasure. But there's nowhere to go from here. You can't do anything. You can't get to the main section of Mount Kondo here. So I'm just going to skip ahead. Let's go way further in the game. And let me show you how to get to this from Mount Kondo. Okay, first at the location I was at was the Shugendo Sculptor's Idol. So from the Shugendo Sculptor's Idol, move forward. See that? That is where you fight the Armored Warrior. That bridge. 
You don't need to go in there. You don't have to fight him to get able to get to the demon bell. Yeah, if you go over here and find this red and white pinwheel, then you're on the right track. You want to climb down from here. It's kind of a slightly hidden path. There it is. There's a demon bell. It's down here. This is basically the way you can go if you don't find the previous entrance earlier in the game. But going this way, it does connect back. It's just, as you can see, there's no way to get back from the Demon Bell to the main section of this area. So once you're there, you're kind of stuck. There's some other items over this way as well. So it's worth exploring. You think you can get the white pinwheel, which is one of the character quests. You need it for a character quest. There's a lot of lizards. But they're not dangerous, as long as you like to jump around. Here's a little tip. The lizards and also the monkey man, if you jump, then you can immediately do a instant death blow on them. Anything that crawls on the ground, you can do a death blow on immediately. Then you don't have to get them by surprise or anything. You can just do it whenever. All you have to do is jump in the air. And then you see the red dot, and you can kill them instantly. Works on these guys, and it works on those annoying monkeys, like that monkey guy that I just fought. Works on them too. So even though those guys are pretty intimidating looking, they're actually pretty easy enemies. Because all you gotta do is do that. Yeah, if you wanna get the Demon Bell Shrine, just keep going up this path. And that leads to it. There it is. As you can see, that way is barred, so they don't want you being able to explore at all. If you come in from the headless. So let's let's just see how much tougher the enemies are. Fighting these kind of low-level weakling enemies, so. As you can see, the difference isn't that big. But they are slightly more aggressive. And the damage they do is slightly more. Because, you know, uh, this may come as a shock to you, but this game is already pretty hard. I know. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, enemies already do a ton of damage to you. <laughs> so it doesn't change things too much. But it makes it so... Enemies that would normally, like, do most of your health bar will kill you instantly now. So, there it is. That's how you go and activate the demon bell in Sekiro. We'll be covering way more stuff with this game in the future, so just keep on watching. I'll see you later.